Daisy be she fam! So you might have been wondering why Buddy wasn't here for the last couple of months and that is because he doesn't live with us anymore. So he hasn't lived with us actually for a couple of months now and we tried to make a video at the time when Buddy was leaving to explain why Buddy wasn't living with us anymore. But it was too upsetting for Grace and we started making a video, didn't we Grace? Yeah. And you did get very upset. It was too late. raw and too upsetting so we waited. We had a little bit of time to adjust to it and now we can actually explain the full reasons why Buddy doesn't live with us. Mummy, do you want to explain a little bit about why Buddy doesn't live with us anymore? Uh, no, it's probably more your reason because it's your fault. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> oh, wow. Jokes, jokes. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. It came to the decision, do I leave or does Buddy leave? Because and it was we a just, close call. It was a close call. Me and Buddy just didn't get on, always arguing, not sharing our toys. <laughs> no. The real reason is, I was actually allergic to Buddy. I'm allergic to dogs, but I'm not supposed to be allergic to Buddy because he's... He's a hyperallergenic dog. Exactly. Which and I've been around other hyperallergenic dogs. Yeah. With Buddy, I wasn't as allergic to him as I am to other dogs, but gradually... I was sneezing every day, my eyes were itching, my nose was running. I could deal with that. I did deal with that for like, a long time. Like every day? Yeah, but then the reason that we actually then had to say Buddy can't live here anymore is because it actually got really dangerous because I've got asthma and Buddy was like affecting my asthma. It got to a point where in the middle of the night I was waking up having to go on a nebulizer. You should have gone to the hospital. I ended up having like two nebulizers in one night. And that happened for three days in a row. So and then it just that's got to a point where like, yeah. This can't carry on because it's actually dangerous, like really, really dangerous. So it wasn't an easy decision. It was a really difficult decision, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. It's like the hardest decision we've had to make, like, because obviously it's Grace's dog. It's all of our dog yeah. as well. Well, it's all sense, of our like dog. Yeah. Our oh family. my gosh. Yeah. yeah. It was really tough. Really, really tough. Oh. So we had to cut there because Grace did get upset and yeah, we I think thought just maybe we were ready but it's I, not, I think it's, it's, I it's think, always going to be hard. I think she's okay it. with the situation but obviously as we just brought it back up and talked about it I think obviously it just brought it all back up to her. Buddy actually lives with my mum and dad. He only lives around the corner and they actually live closer to Grace's school than we do. So she can go there any day after school, she can walk him as much as she wants, she can see him when often. Christmas day he was here all day with us. Um, obviously little and often Joel can be around him but not fully. Sarah's mum and dad absolutely adore Buddy. Like they love him as much as we love him. Your dad walks him like three, like, yeah. three, three times, times a day. day. He sleeps on the Bed. We were always quite strict with that kind of stuff just because of your allergies. my allergies and my asthma so it was couldn't like couldn't be in our bedroom and we just felt really guilty and now living with Sarah's mum and dad like he's literally living his best life. He has the run of the house. So although obviously it's a really terrible situation for Grace like, and we do feel really really bad in terms of like Buddy's life I feel like it's been quite a good thing for Buddy. We've actually got Buddy here. So you guys haven't seen Buddy in so long and you're almost not gonna recognize him because your mum and dad got his hair cut like really, really yeah. short. And you wouldn't he believe- He like a poodle. And he's so, underneath all that fluffy fur, he's actually really, really tiny. Let's go and tell Grace to bring him in. Hold on one sec. Do a big reveal already. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Buddy. Buddy. Oh, look at him. I bet you guys have missed him as well because you haven't seen him so Look long. at him! Your baby's still on you. Look how tiny he looks with his hair cut, look. Aww. Oh, he looks like a proper little poodle. He's, He's such a, poodle, a cuddly right? dog, like he proper snuggles in for a cuddle. Grace, explain what you're doing. I'm going to go yeah. and get Buddy. <laughs> 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 she just put my baby over. There you go. I'm going to try and get Buddy to go over the pole and then pull it in. Okay, let's okay, okay, go on then, buddy. You can do it. Sit. Ready? Go. <laughs> no. He's too clever. My Chloe's gonna do the trick. Go on, Chloe. You can do it, girl. Come on. Over you come. Over. Yeah. Yeah. Give her a bit of ham. He's, he's not having any of it. No. Good boy. Yeah. Good, good boy. boy. A little bit. Oh, he didn't <laughs> even have to do a trick. You just gave it to Again. him. Again. <laughs> what have you got new? New? Trainers. Trainers, same as? Yeah. Wait. Wait. 
That's right, you look so cute today. Oh, no, no, I don't know what that, no. No, I don't want to see that. Oh, seriously. There's not even any music. It's <laughs> getting to go underneath it like a limbo, yeah. And he go, yay! Good boy! Chloe, you're going to have a nap? You don't want a nap today? Okay. Guys, I know this is shocking for you, but Chloe, I think, is actually giving up her nap time. Oh, you don't want to go for a nap? Roland's here, and Lily, and Ralph. You guys been at football? Did you score any goals? Three. You scored three goals. Oh wow. Say hi, DVG fan. Look at him. Anyway, guys, we'll see you next time, okay? Bye. Bye.